Rescue is not a startup charity. It's been going for 33 years and it's been through all the ups and downs of trying to establish itself as a legitimate NGO. Extremely difficult in South Africa because the funding is so limited. Um, we've experienced all the challenges you can imagine um, with regards to um, funding, staffing, um, trying to get things regulated in the NGO sector. It's really very challenging. But we've come through that and I think we've done really well. Our main mandate and focus is to run a fully equipped welfare hospital and to run mobile clinics. So the mobile clinics are critical because they take the welfare services to those communities that need it the most. And those are the most indigent communities. So we're talking about the really, really poor uh, informal settlement areas, the ones that get flooded out in winter and the ones that have absolutely uh, no resource to get to a veterinary clinic. Those are the ones, that, these are the people that will walk for kilometers with, a, with an animal that is suffering or sick. The mobile clinic is our key component to the welfare system. So it will pick up animals, it will take them to the hospital, it will facilitate getting them home again. So one tablet is going to be trendier than that. So it's a critical, critical link between a veterinary surgeon and the family who owns the animal. Name of the dog there. This dog is going to be signing over for the sterilization, so you're going to take him, admit to hospital this afternoon. So tomorrow is going to be done, so that Friday he can come back home. The animal rest is far. So yeah, it's reliable, and every Tuesday they are here yeah, on time. Yeah, the, 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 the most important part is like, when we see that young boys with their dogs, like we get a chance to educate them. Like they don't have to fight the dogs around the streets. They don't have to breed the dogs. They must come and sterilize their dogs so that we don't have overpopulation of dogs around our areas and letting dogs suffer. It's about providing primary health care. So we're talking about um, keeping the family unit healthy by keeping the pets healthy. You don't want to have those zoonotic diseases spreading. Um, from animals to humans. Education is critical, and if we don't educate, then we're gonna get nowhere. Okay, so this is the business end of things. Um, we're about to get started for the day. Um, we have a number of animals here, all from the, the front clinic. Um, so our animals coming in from the front clinic are generally from more conscientious owners. Animals are coming from owners who choose to have them treated. Um, so we get to see the more interesting stuff from the, the front clinic. I bring the cat here for sterilization. I'm man! Uh -uh. The public will come to Animal Rescue and depending on who they are, um, will receive an account to pay. But it's important to note that while they get an account that states the normal veterinary fee, it also says on there 90% discount based on the fact that they are in, in, they're indigent and they're, they're unemployed or uh, they're pensioner or so on. So they may get 2,000 rands worth of medical care for their pet, but they'll only pay 100 rand. For those people who are walking to a mobile clinic, they don't have a car. So they walk their dog or they carry their cat to a mobile clinic. That sterilization will be done for free and our fundraising will foot that bill. And that's what Animal Rescue is all about. All right, yeah, so we're going into the, our cat ward now. This little guy um, had a fractured radius and ulna, which uh, I put a pin in, um, two pins, one into radius and ulna um, last week. And um, he was ready to go home on Friday last week, and we took him back to the, the area where he's from, and um, the, the owners disappeared, so. Unfortunately, this guy's looking for a home. As the veterinarian uh, in a welfare environment, my biggest challenge is um, communication with the, um, the owner of the animal. You know, you're dealing with um, a lot of neglect and abuse over here. Um, you're dealing with people that, um, quite frankly, shouldn't have pets. Okay, so Tuesday to Thursday, those are our surgery days. So we... Um, we're very busy on those days in theatre and on a Friday um, we try and empty out the hospital and get them all back home um, to the, um, the communities where they come from. Um, so Fridays is delivery day. 
Time to go home. Oh, I'm tired. Don't you miss your family? Time to go home, Snuggles. Come. Hmm? Are you gonna see your mother? Come. We just love these animals uh, back to the owners. They came here on Wednesday for sterilization and the cat came last week. The people we deal with them, it's the people they're coming from township. So the people, they are not working and they are pensioners. So they can't afford at all to have expenses to pay the bill for, the, for their earnings. So they very appreciate of what we are doing. Okay, this papa is waiting on our side. Hello, Dadam. Hello, Mom. Okay. Uh, you want to buy Pam's side? Then don't. Can... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I also feel happy as the owner, they can see the way we helping their animals. They, they always have a hope of, of what we are doing. And then they having a trust of animal rescue because we're picking up their animals and then we make it sure we're bringing the animals back home on the right hour now. Come, come, Ginger. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> There's a lot of other things that's going on in the country with regards to animal welfare and things that we speak out about. Um, one is dog fighting. We're never going to stop dog fighting in South Africa. It is just a reality that we live with. It, all over the world, dogs are being bred and used for dog fighting. But what we do believe is that we can't sit back and do nothing just simply because we can't stop it. So the only thing that we've come up with as a possible solution is to throw some weight into very targeted education of young kids, particularly young boys living in communities, going to schools where it is known that dog fighting takes place. And then of course there's a donkey issue. We have a massive um, trade in illegal donkey skins. Um, donkeys are being illegally slaughtered in barbaric manners all over this country. It came out very publicly in 2018, um, and there's been um, amazing attempts to rescue donkeys and to highlight the plight of donkeys in South Africa um, by organizations like um, the Karoo Donkey Sanctuary. John O'Sherwin is, is an advocate for that, does incredible practical work in rescuing donkeys. And then, of course, there's the issue of performing wild animals in circuses, also barbaric, archaic, what are we doing having wild animals and circuses in this country when all over the world people are banning it? But here we are limping along, still unable to get enough buy-in from government to ban this ridiculous practice. Thanks so much. No, thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are doing you know, such an amazing thing. It is a population crisis. We have boxes of puppies being dropped off in welfare organizations like Animal Rescue. You can build a thousand shelters if you haven't got the homes then it's an absolutely pointless exercise. And who's going to fund those shelters? The animal rescue organization needs 7 million rand a year to operate. Running mobile clinics is extremely expensive. We need professional staff. We need um, to keep these vehicles on the road. We need a lot of money to keep the drug cupboard stocked up. Um, there's a lot of expenses that goes into running animal rescue. Uh, a lot of that comes from the general public, but we also have some very active charity shops and we do some special events. We have a great fun quiz night every year. We have the golf day and the vineyard lunch and so on. So we have a lot of activity going on around fundraising, um, but most of it comes from the general public. We have to put a, a huge thank you out to everyone who does support the Animal Rescue Organization and just continue to appeal for your support.